Hi there, I'm going to be studying the inhibition of the NUB98 fusion partners within AML, primarily NSD1 and KDM5A. Uh, so in the context of AML, uh, NUB98 has about 30 fusion partners, of which those can be broadly categorised into HOX fusion partners or non-HOX. Uh, for my project, I'm going to be uh, investigating those which are non-HOX partners, so this predominantly includes KDM5A and NSD1. These are both very rare cancers and predominantly affect people under the age of 6 or over the age of 60. However, in a clinical setting, they both provide a very poor prognosis to patients, with some studies suggesting about a 30% survival rate after four years. So in the event of one of these translocations between NUB98 and KDM5 or NSD1, this can often then lead to the activation of genes which are usually only expressed in early stage development. However, in the context of AML, these can then lead to a blocking in the maturation of blood cells, which then leads to the uh, AML. So my project will primarily be looking at means to inhibit these proteins, including NSD1 and KDM5. So I'm being provided with drugs which are derivatives of currently available commercial drugs which block KDM5 and NSD1. And these are being provided by our collaborators in Freiburg and those in the University of Vigo. And in order to test these drugs, I'm going to be testing them in cell lines, cell models which have been provided by our collaborators in Austria. I'm going to provide some very basic preclinical cancer data. So I'm going to be trying to first out find the dose scaling, which is the optimal dose to test these drugs. Then I'm going to take them forward to see whether or not they have any biological function. And then we're going to go into looking at the single cell RNA data. So what's the actual biological pathway in which these, these drugs are affecting the cells? And my expectations from this are out of the handful of drugs provided that at least one or two should be able to go into a clinical trial after having been able to provide some evidence of biological function. If indeed this does happen, we may be able to provide some evidence that this helps to reduce the burden of cancer in some of these AML patients. Together, we are unstoppable.